Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Said. We have started another method of solving fractional differential equation which is power series method. In the first lecture under this power series method I solved equation, fractional differential equation. But this time I am taking another fractional differential equation with this extra factor x to the power beta. So this is a capital fractional derivative from 0 to x of order alpha y of x equal to x to the power beta where beta is greater than negative 1 into f of x. Like in the previous video f of x is the function whose have a valid Taylor series representation at the point x is equal to 0. And we also have supposed that the unknown function which need to be determined y of x has a power series representation. Okay. How we cannot tackle such kind of functions with power series method because uh, as you have seen in previous lecture when we need to apply power series method we need to compare the power of x and we can compare only if it have the same power but taking an extra factor to the right hand side might cause some issues how we gonna address such issues now uh, I'll take an example here capital fractional derivative from 0 to x of order 1 by 2 of y of x is equal to x square sine of x and with same initial condition at 0 okay here we, knew, we know that this, uh, the series representation of sine of x is sum from n 0 to infinity x to the power 2 n plus 1 and whole over 2 n plus 1 factorial which have convergence region an entire real number okay uh, to solve this one we need to assume y of x as power series let y of x has a power series representation sum from n0 to infinity some constant cn and x to the power n plus alpha and plus beta okay in this in this to, to to overcome such functions I need to take some extra factor x to the power beta with my y of x and I need to I need to figure out what the value of beta I need to get uh, to solve this fractional differential equation specifically when we need to compare the polynomial on both sides okay I, I just need to put the value of y of x and the value of sine x back into this equation and it becomes fractional derivative from 0 to x of order 1 by 2 and then we have series of our y of x and from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n plus alpha since alpha is here 1 by 2 and then we have beta and on right hand side x to the power beta sorry x to the power square x square and summation from n 0 to infinity x to the power 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial okay now I need to uh, put this fractional derivative inside the series so this becomes summation from n 0 to infinity into cn and capital derivative from 0 to x of order 1 by 2 into x to the power n plus half plus beta and then on the right hand side summation from n0 to infinity x to the power 2n plus 1 plus 2 joining this term inside and over 2n plus 1 factorial okay now I need to use the formula since I know that the capital fractional derivative of order alpha of some function x to the power n is equal to gamma n plus 1 over gamma n minus alpha plus 1 into x to the power n minus alpha using this formula I can write summation n from 0 to infinity c n and here my n is n plus half plus beta so this becomes gamma of n which is n plus half plus beta plus 1 and in the denominator I have gamma of n which is n plus half plus beta minus alpha which is 1 by 2 and then plus 1 
into x to the power n minus alpha n is then 1 by 2 plus beta minus alpha which is 1 by 2 and on the right hand side the series will remain as it is x to the power 2n plus 3 and in the denominator 2n plus 3 factorial okay a little simplification summation n from 0 to infinity cn gamma of n plus beta plus half n plus 1 which is 3 by 2 and in the denominator gamma of this 1 by 2 cancels out and I am left with n plus beta plus 1 into x to the power and again this factor cancels out so n plus beta and the right hand side series will remain as it is x to the power 2n plus 3 and 2n plus 1 factorial sorry here it is not it is 1 it is 1 okay now in order to compare this series we need to make this power same so in order to make same I just compare them n plus beta is equal to 2n plus 3 here beta is equal to 2n plus 3 minus n so beta becomes n plus 3 for this value of beta the power of x on the both side will coincide so taking this value this becomes summation n from 0 to infinity c n gamma of n plus beta which is n plus 3 and plus 3 by 2 and whole over gamma of n plus beta which is n plus 3 plus 1 x to the power n plus n plus 3 is equal to summation from n0 to infinity x to the power 2n plus 3 whole over 2n plus 1 factorial okay now we can simplify a bit it becomes summation n from 0 to infinity c n gamma of n plus n which is 2n plus 3 plus 3 by 2 simplifying it get 9 by 2 and in the denominator gamma of n plus n 2n plus 3 plus 1 4 and x to the power 2n plus 3 and on the right hand side cd will remain as it is and now you can see that in both side we have the same power of x the power of here and power is here is in so we can compare the c these two polynomials and we know that two polynomials are equal only if they have the same coefficients so comparing the coefficients I get C n gamma of 2 n plus 9 over 2 over gamma of 2 n plus 4 is equal to 1 over 2 n plus 1 factorial shifting these two factors on the right hand side it becomes gamma of 2 n plus 4 and in the denominator I have sigma gamma of 2n plus 9 by 2 and 2n plus 1 factorial since we know that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial for non-negative integer n so using this result this becomes c n is equal to 2n plus 3 in the numerator gamma 2n plus 4 will become 2n plus 3 factorial and in the denominator we have everything remain as it is 2n plus 9 over 2 and 2n plus 1 factorial okay in the next step we can simplify a little bit in the numerator 2n plus 3 factorial can be expanded 2n plus 3 and then 2n plus 2 and then 2n plus 1 factorial and in the denominator gamma 2n plus 9 by 2 and 2n plus 1 factorial and now these two factors cancels out so the final value of constant is cn 2n plus 3 2n plus 2 and in the denominator gamma of 2n plus 9 by 2 where n is from 0 1 2 3 so so this is the value of cn so under this value 
the solution the assumed solution y of x which i have assumed that summation from n 0 to infinity c n x to the power n plus alpha plus beta will become summation n from 0 to infinity c n x to the power n plus alpha which is 1 by 2 and beta which is n plus 3 so this become y of x summation n from 0 to infinity the value of cn is 2n plus 3 and 2n plus 2 in the denominator gamma of 2n plus 9 over 2 and then x to the power 2n plus 1 by 2 plus 3 which is 7 by 2 and this is the final solution of my fractional differential equation and you can check that this infinite series is convergent for all x 0 x less than infinity so as you can see that power series method can handle such function by just a little change of the assumed solution but this uh, one thing that need to be noticed that uh, we have assumed that this method works only when we have zero initial condition because when we expand this y of x it satisfies this differential equation so this assumed solution will work only if we have zero initial condition however if we have non-zero initial condition we need to take some other kind of power series for this function y of x which satisfies that non-zero initial condition we will address in the coming lectures thank you for watching